What's going on, everybody? My name's Mike. Doing another video today. We are finally playing The Walking Dead season three, episode one of the New Frontier. Like I said, we've just finished Michonne. Go ahead, watch that, so you get caught up. It was a mini. Ep it was a mini series, but you know it was still good. We finished Walking Dead season one, two. Now we're on season three. Then we'll be on the final season, and then that's it. I will have completed the entire Walking Dead series, uh, trilogy, so, like, I'm subscribed, ready to see this, let's get it, let's go, we're almost at 200, subscribe, all that stuff, waiting for you, and, uh, yeah, let's, let's do this. Uh, let me just turn up the brightness and stuff. Master volume, music volume. Let's turn that music now. We'll be in the display so on. And we're gonna adjust that brightness real quick. So we're gonna continue to story. So I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna recreate the story. That way, you guys can see at least a little bit of perspective from each and every season that I did. So we're gonna recreate it. In The Walking Dead season one, Clementine met Lee, the goat, after he, she lost her family and home. He protected Clem and taught her the importance of. Uh, pretty much self-reliant, but also survival. So we're going to go for survival. Clem and Lee travel to Savannah, where Lee sacrificed himself like a G to save her as he li lay dying. Lee begged Clem to... Yep, I shot him. After Lee's death, Clem found more survivors, people who helped her, such as Luke. But we're going to go with Kenny. Clementine remembered the joy she felt when she reunited with Kenny. He showed her that survival depended on uh, determination, but also family. But yeah, determination. Let's go with that. Thanks to her companions, Clem's journey ultimately led them to Wellington. But I decided to leave with Kenny. And, uh,. Clem learned the hard way that survival depends upon people. Because resources can be replaced. People can. It never got easy. Clem remembers how she stopped AJ's dead mother from biting from biting him during an ambush. But drawing her gun, she risked angering their attackers. Clem chose to... You know, I chose to shoot because I couldn't. Even tempered. In season 2, Clem stayed level-headed and compassionate even though the world is full of chaos and cruelty. Clem watched Jane provoke a fight with Kenny that ended up in Jane's death. AJ, Kenny, and Clem continued on to Wellington, where Clem learned Kenny would not be allowed in. So they left together. Yes. So now that we got all of this caught up, caught up to speed, let's begin with episode one, The Ties That Bind, part one. When Javier and his family accidentally cross paths with rival group, a simple misunderstanding quickly spirals out of control. It's gonna be like a TV show, so get your snacks, you know, Swedish fish, airheads, gummy worms, gummy rings, Snickers, all that stuff. We're gonna be out here. We're gonna be here for a long time. 
Venus chair. You know that? One time. Just the one goddamn time that you needed to be here. Yeah, look, I get it. Look, I understand you're angry, but please. Angry? Oh, I'm more than angry, Javi. <clears throat> Everyone's here. They've been here for days, and where the fuck were you? <clears throat> we're there, all around him. People who love him all around him. And he's scared. I'm seeing the panic in his eyes, and he's searching the room. Donde esta Javier? Donde esta mi hijo? I'm there, right beside him, holding his hand. Like a good son. And he doesn't even see me. He doesn't even see me because he's looking for you. You don't think there's a million places we'd rather be? You don't think we all had to make sacrifices? He was my dad, too! All right? I mean, you're not... You're not the only one dealing with this! And what a fine son you turned out to be. Uncle Javi? Why, why are you fighting? I could hear you from inside. We were just, uh, talking, Gabriel. Right. Your uncle and I are just having a little chat. Go inside, mijo. We'll be in in a minute. Go on. It's okay. Inside. <sighs> no, I, I got it. You want to shock me? Yeah. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna accept anything. I should call someone. Pick up the body. Yeah. I love you, little brother. You know that, right? Funny way of showing oh. it. You got a pretty funny way of showing it. You think I was jealous of you? No, I, I don't think anything. Well, I was. For a long time. You've lost more than I'll ever have. But maybe something good can come out of all this. Because we need you here. It's time to grow up. You can't run from this. Not anymore. I know. You're right. I won't even argue. I'll be around more, honestly. You can count on it, huh? I want to believe that. I do. Javi. Kate. I'm so sorry, Javi. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Let's go inside. Your mom needs you. What happened? Come on.
were you? I tried. I tried. I'm so sorry. He's gone, mijo. He's gone. <laughs> He's in a better place, mama. No puedo conectarme. Dicen que no hay servicio. You thirsty, baby? You want some juice? Grandpa's cup was empty. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. Pipo's awake. What? Tell me when it reaches the campfire. I don't think I 
I've seen this many. It's definitely growing. Yeah, not a great sign. Damn it, I left my water bottle. Her just got there. Just under four hours. Come on, we should keep moving while the kids are asleep. Yeah. Looks like the herd is speeding up a little. I thought it was drifting southwest, but I'm not sure anymore. Every time I think we should just bed down somewhere and wait for it to pass, I can't shake the thought of us getting caught in the middle of it. It just keeps coming. It's slow, but that almost makes it worse. It'd definitely be nice to stop. We've been on the move a while now. I don't know. It feels risky. Not if we find somewhere secure. We'll figure it out. We always do. Hey, I'm gonna sneak a smoke. I can't believe you found weed. Are you kidding? People were probably growing this before they realized they needed food. All right, just, you know, make it quick. I don't want you waking the kids. Relax. I can't believe it. Mariana's got headphones on and Gabe is drooling. And I think we're in the clear. You want some? No, I like no. my lungs, thank you. No, thanks. One of us should be sober. <sighs> well, you don't like your lungs. Don't judge me. Oh, when I found out David had kids, I told him I am not changing who I am around them. <laughs> and when he proposed, I reminded him that I'm not exactly stepmother material. <laughs> Case in point. He was reassuring, but yeah, I could tell he was worried about it. I knew he'd try to get me to change. <laughs> or at least he'd hope that being around the kids more would change me, you know? <laughs> Do you miss him? I think about that a lot. Honestly, I'm not sure. I used to talk shit about all those mothers who go on about raising their kids being the hardest thing in the world. Oof. Gabe's making me start to think they had a point. <laughs> His mood swings are just, oh, I don't know. Some days I just want to leave him by the side of the road. <laughs> I'm joking. Jesus, obviously. Gabe's been emotional lately. I'm sure he's just, you know, going through a phase. Emotional? <laughs> right. That's cute. Look, I love these kids. But I could do without Gabe reminding me I'm not his mother whenever he's pissed. He's a teenager. Puberty. Hormones. The second you start getting boners, the whole world starts to get dark. What are you talking about? It sounds delightful compared to dealing with bloody underwear. <laughs> what is this? I need to get laid. What? <laughs> you want to pull I over? You, 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 transition. I'm going to drop that neck? I can pull over. You know, it wouldn't take a minute. <laughs> wouldn't be worth it for just a minute. Huh. Mm. Uh, what's that smell? That's gross. Hey, Mariana, I, I think we uh, must have had a skunk or something back there. I already know you guys do drugs. That's a. Uh, Pretty severe way of phrasing it, Mariana. Don't tell Gabe. He's the one who told me. Oh, oh my God. You're even smoking in a car now? All right. Everyone roll the windows down before you all get contact high. We're about to make a supply stop.
All right, you guys, we're gonna pretty much end that here. Hopefully, you guys just enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Be ready to see the next video. Leave a comment below. I'll see you next video real soon. Peace.